Hello everyone, my name is Lucy. I wish you happiness and prosperity. Lucy would like to welcome you for visiting our channel and here is the official news. Follow up. One, Justin Bieber looks gaunt as wife Haley protectively leads him out of wedding anniversary dinner amid health fears as more shock did he claims emerge Justin Bieber appeared gaunt and tense while celebrating his fifth wedding anniversary with Haley Bieber on Monday night. Concerns for the 30-year-old singer's health have arisen amid ongoing rumors about his relationship with Sean Diddy Combs, who is currently in jail facing sex trafficking charges. The couple dined at Baltair Restaurant in Los Angeles, where Haley, 27, seemed protective of Justin as they left with security. They welcomed their first child together in August, too. Dave Grohl is seen for the first time since revealing he fathered a secret love child, as he confirms he still has the support of his family while shopping for Halloween decorations with his daughter. Dave Grohl was seen shopping for Halloween decorations with his 10-year-old daughter Ophelia in Los Angeles. Marking his first public appearance since disclosing that he has a secret love child outside his marriage. The Foo Fighters frontman, 55, was casually dressed and pushed a cart filled with Halloween items, including two skeletons. Grohl recently faced backlash for admitting to cheating on his wife of 21 years, Jordan Bloom, and having a daughter with another woman. 3. 90s sitcom star makes rare appearance looking barely recognizable while enjoying a workout Wayne Knight. Known for his role as Newman on the 1990s sitcom Seinfeld, was recently spotted in Los Angeles looking noticeably slimmer at 69 years old. He visited the exercise coach gym, where he engaged in a workout using arm weight machines while dressed in a navy polo shirt and black athletic pants. After exercising, he checked the parking meter before getting into his luxury SUV and was later seen running errands, carrying reusable grocery bags. 4. Glamour Women of the Year Awards 2024 Zara McDermott puts on a very busty display as she joins honoree Pamela Anderson, Mylene Class and Perry Edwards on the star-studded red carpet Zara McDermott made a striking entrance at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards in London. Wearing a revealing pink gown that highlighted her cleavage and figure, the 27-year-old reality star posed confidently in the form-fitting dress which featured silver embellishments. Pamela Anderson, who was set to receive the Global Women of the Year Award, also attended, looking elegant in a black off-the-shoulder velvet dress with minimal makeup and a bold red lip. 5. Angelina Jolie, 49. And British rapper, boyfriend, Akala, 40, Go Instagram official Angelina Jolie has made her relationship with British rapper and political activist Akala Instagram official. The couple was spotted together at a New York City party hosted by Jolie for her company, Atelier Jolie. Photos from the event show Akala in attendance, and Jolie, dressed in a gray suit, was seen interviewing Mustafa at the Atelier Jolie showroom. This appearance follows their attendance together at the 62nd New York Film Festival premiere of Jolie's film, Maria. Six. Princess Beatrice is pregnant. Royal is expecting her second child with husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazi. Princess Beatrice is expecting her second child with husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazi, as announced by Buckingham Palace. 
The couple, who already have a three-year-old daughter named Sienna, will welcome the new baby in early spring 2025. The child will be a sibling to Sienna and to Eduardo's eight-year-old son, Wolfie, from a previous relationship. Buckingham Palace confirmed that both families are delighted with the news. And two new family photos were released to celebrate the announcement. 7. Prince Harry meets the Princess of Lesotho as he begins solo South Africa trip without Meghan, but did he manage to see the King and William on Whistlestop UK visit? Prince Harry has begun a visit to South Africa for his charity Centibale, shortly after a brief trip to the UK without his wife Meghan. He was photographed with the Princess of Lesotho, Senate Ciso. During a lunch they hosted together. This trip marks another week apart from Meghan and their children, Archie and Lilibet. While in the UK, Harry did not meet with King Charles or Prince William. Despite being close to their locations, his visit to London was primarily for the Well Child Awards, honoring courageous individuals in Britain. 8. Prince Harry has called for people from the top to start listening, while sitting around a bonfire Prince Harry, on a solo trip to South Africa for his charity Centibale, emphasized the need for leaders to listen to the voices of young people during a speech around a bonfire. He highlighted the charity's success in supporting children and young people affected by HIV and expressed optimism about their progress. Harry's visit follows a brief trip to the UK, and he reunited with his friend Prince Ciso of Lesotho, who noted the origins of Centibale's mission. 9. Hezbollah unleashes 100 rockets into Israel as IDF calls up extra troops for invasion and orders more Lebanese villages to evacuate hours after Iranian missile barrage, as world holds its breath amid. Growing WW3 fears Hezbollah has fired over 100 rockets into Israel, claiming to target Israeli soldiers near the border as the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, increase their troop presence for a ground invasion of Lebanon. The militant group reported engaging Israeli forces in southern villages, forcing them to retreat, although Israel has not confirmed this. Hezbollah also stated it targeted a large infantry force in Misgavim and other troop gatherings using rockets and artillery. A Hezbollah media officer emphasized that the group is prepared for ongoing conflict asserting that they are only in the initial stages of their fight against the IDF and are not weakened by Israeli attacks. 10. Israel's military is preparing a significant retaliation to a shocking attack by Iran. Iran made a big mistake tonight and will pay for it, said Netanyahu hours after the attack, warning. Whoever attacks us, we attack them. In a separate statement, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, who was at the command and control center monitoring the interception of Iranian missiles. Also vowed to punish Iran for the attack. Iran has not learned a simple lesson. Those who attack the state of Israel, pay a heavy price, he said in a statement issued by his office. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan condemned the significant escalation by Iran but added, in short, this attack seems to have been defeated and in a